Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to high heaven that you can hear me, and I hope to high heaven that at this very moment now, you can see me. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So good to be back. Oh, life, life, life. Let me tell you, uh, yeah, t today's afternoon stream was canceled due to a lack of energy on my side. I was, I was, number one, I wasn't feeling it. Just wasn't feeling it. Number two, uh, I was just super tired. Five by five here. Perfect! We have sight, we have sound, we have the mental connection across the internet waves. We're, we're golden. Perfect. Um, but yeah, no, just earlier today, like, there, there was just a whole slew of things. I was just like, I want to focus on doing a few little minor projects. I've been doing some research and other things on things that I want to do. And also, just, I just wasn't feeling it, and so it just, it just wasn't going to happen, and I kind of just wanted to save all my energy for now. Um, which was great, because we started late, and I will let you know, the reason we started late mainly was because of the fact that um, when I come to stream, everything's just not working. <laughs> Nothing wants to behave. It really doesn't. Um, I had both my webcam not working, and I fixed that, and then for some reason I wasn't getting any audio levels, which happened to me the other week for no reason whatsoever and I guess it happened again so I'm I'm concerned about what's going on I don't know if I need to update something or what but uh we're working now so that's what matters um how's everybody's week been so far how is how's everyone's midweek it is my mid uh my mid weekend mm, we're gonna sit back crack open a soda here Ooh, that's good oh, that's very good my week has been long feeling, honestly. Work week felt long. Uh, and my weekend has been, it's been okay. It's been okay. It's been, been, been pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited to be playing more Dino Crisis, so let me tell you. Um, Dino Crisis, it just, it really does just bring me back. It is one of my favorite childhood games. I think I've played it probably one too many times. I can't, how many times did I beat this game? At least like, at least three probably like four or five times i had no life as a child oh i probably should have been doing more of my homework I, I i got over homework very quickly in life i was like yeah the homework thing not doing it uh look at me now mom i didn't learn my lesson whatsoever <laughs> all right all right enough enough messing around here let's let's see if everything looks nice and good let's see if all this works Oh, glorious. Isn't that exciting, everyone? Oh, and the sounds. We are getting sound. Perfect. Yes. Everybody, collectively ready for the, the dinosaur screams. Perfect. Warms my heart every time. I love a good, I love a good dinosaur yeah. shout. This is a dinosaur shout, yes. Okay, yeah, I think we only, yeah, we only did one save. All right. Quick recap. Let's let's talk real quick. Let me. I'll pull it back here real quick. If I can. Oops. What did that do? <laughs> I hit a button. I thought, and then nothing happened, and now I'm concerned. Did I hit something? <laughs> anyway, all right. So last time. So we started Dino Crisis last week. What did we do? We arrived at the facility. Things were quiet. We didn't find anybody. Uh, Rick went inside to go check on the. He went to take over their uh, computer security systems and whatnot. Uh, let's see, Gail and Regina, they found a body, and then uh, we went and fixed the generator. Generator got back up, Gail disappeared, uh, and there was a dinosaur. And from there on, it's just been, we've been trying to reestablish power and connections throughout the building. We've been trying to find Dr. Kirk, because uh, he was our main target, or way out of here. Uh, we meet up with Gail, Gail is still alive, and he says that he saw someone on the monitors in the basement. So we're trying to find Dr. Kirk. Uh, and that's when our first uh, decision fork came in. Obviously we've had encounters with dinosaurs as well as a T-Rex at least once uh, so far. But uh, we had a choice between going with Gail under into the basement to find Dr. Kirk to go straight for him, or we received a distress call from one of our allies that could have been Cooper or Tom because Cooper was our teammate who got eaten by the T-Rex, not that we know that. Uh, or go find Tom. And uh, Tom is the undercover agent who was uh, giving us all our intel. And I believe last night we ended on, we found Tom. He was badly hurt. Helping Rick, we brought him down to the basement where there is a medical facility. 
and in the medical facility was a raptor. And Tom gave his life to save Rick, and so Tom inevitably died, and Rick is upset about it. And now we are in the basement with which we can continue to help in trying to find Dr. Kirk, which is the plan. Which is the plan. Oh, that's, that's the wrong scene. You didn't see anything. It's all fine. Dinosaur time, baby. Dinosaurs. I love me some dinosaurs, man. Let me tell you. All right. Now, you will notice something. I fixed our issue from last week with the, the poor menu sounds. And apparently what that was, uh, the issue was that I was bumping up the resolution to make it look better. But in doing that, it, it messed with some of the audio for some reason, specifically in the menu here. But now we can now we can run through this and not have any issue, thankfully. Um, so we're good to go now. <laughs> All right, so filling you back in on that recap, here's Tom. <laughs> He's not feeling so good. Tom's corpse has been savagely slashed, but the the dinosaur body is gone, which I think is kind of sad, but. Oh, yeah, no sign of use in the patient bed. Nothing looks useful. We have these two lock boxes um, that we need a key for. So yeah, now Regina looks less sleek, but this is exactly how it would have looked in the PlayStation One days. So it's fitting. It's honestly fitting. It's a memo that seems to have been addressed to the doctor on duty. Will you read the memo? You might have already read this. Yeah, yeah, show your ID card at the desk. Please hand it to the Colonel Clay when he shows up. He told me that he was going to hold a meeting in the strategy room on the first floor to make preparations for tonight's experiment. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is there anything in here? Inventory full, there isn't enough to hold that. Oh, there's, yeah, there is stuff there. We just don't have enough space right now, okay. All right, is the game too loud? That's always the question. Is the game too quiet or loud? If anyone has an issue, please let me know. All right. And then there's just diagrams of brain stems. All right. Oh yeah, there's more small dinosaurs. We'll leave them alone. We don't need to fight them. Scavengers mostly. We're gonna go back upstairs, cause we have a... Oh, did I open this box? I think I did. Oh, that music. It brings me back. Makes me happy. Oh my gosh, we have so much stuff we can use. All right. Oh, okay, I have to remember, since it's not a pain to be in this menu anymore, we gotta we gotta make some some stuff, man. We have a ton of, ton of items we can mess with here. Now, I believe if we mix both anaids, it'll make darts. They'll be really weak darts. Uh, but we can make a bunch of darts. And I like making darts. <laughs> Alright, so three, we made three darts. Oh, we have two sets of darts now. If we mix these, it makes them only slightly stronger. Oh, that closes out the entire menu. Whoops. Alright. Uh, mix... Okay, that just makes a better med pack. No. Uh, also makes a slightly better med pack. Oh yeah, we're starting with the base of that. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's... I'm, I'm getting myself confused um, really quickly here. Yeah, so that's just gonna be that. This music is great to mix things too, let me tell you. Alright, now is it... Is the M dart? It can tranquilize with a single shot, but the effects do not last long. I keep hitting uh, circle instead of triangle. Right. Takes more than one shot for it to work since the effect is weak. Now if I mix this, okay, we can't mix it with a recess. This is the fun part: is using resuscitations. And mixing them you have to get to a certain level of dart and then you can mix resuscitations with a dart to make it the killer dart I believe I'm pretty sure that's what we did last time I'm just screaming over this music all right we have a ton of resuscitations too all right, uh, 
recovery aid. This music's so good. Sorry, everyone. Alright. Try to focus, try to focus. Um, I want to make better darts. Um, oh, did I, I didn't get that other thing. Dang it. I, I'm not good with my menus here. Recovery aids. We have a couple recovery aids. Cool. We already have a lot of med pack stuff, and I've been okay so far, so... I'm willing to mix some things. Wait... If I... Frick. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna walk away from this room, because it's really loud. The music's just pumping. It's a little bit better down here. A little bit. This is a lot of drums. Um, I wanted to see... So this guy has... Th there's three of them in low volume, or low level, excuse me. If we mix them, only makes them slightly more powerful. If we mix... what's well, the same thing. Triangle, not circle. That gives us a... Oh, that'll be for stopping the bleeding. And if we mix these again, it just brings them up to that level. This isn't terrible. It's still three darts, though, from six. Wait, adding recovery to the S dart does, like, nothing? <laughs> this system is so weird, dude. That... <laughs> These aren't that great. Um, mix. Uh, oh wait, no, no. Back out. Increases the potency of items with with recovering properties. Okay. So this is why this is not the most brilliant idea to do for... Okay. There we go. Now, now we have stupid amount of good med, med kit. Uh... Flip. <laughs> There's so many of my kids. Alright. <laughs> I could open a store. And now I don't <laughs> I still don't have enough space for anything. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Alright, so we are good on med kits. Good on med kits. Alright guys. <laughs> if you're just joining in, we made a million med kits. <laughs> Because it's apparently really easy. Alright. Jeez. Regina got her first, uh... Her first chemistry set and just made a million med kits. Alright. Uh, three empty spots. We'll put away these stupid darts for now. Um, if I hit sort, does this all, like, stack and stuff? I see that it has. Awesome. Alright. Also, check the shotgun. Pump action L shotgun. By Franchi. Alright. We're gonna stick with the buckshot for now. It's gonna be better than a pistol. The pistol is your knife in this game. Or the handgun is to die in a crisis as knife is to Resident Evil. Because you have no knife. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't... the pistol only works so well. Ah! Don't nibble. I think they can only really nibble at your ankles. And even then, it's not that much. I don't think. I don't ever remember them being that dangerous. Regina, what's taking so long? We've got a job to finish. We found Tom. He didn't make it. Sad face. How do things look over on your end? That idiot. I'm in the lab area. I know the doc's still hiding around here somewhere. I can see an elevator from here. Maybe I can use that to go down from the first floor.
Okay, there is there is some music volume. I was gonna say the the actors seem really the voice actors are really quiet, so I kind of wanted to fix that a little bit if I could. I think that's at a pretty good spot. Yeah, no, I like that. All right, penis stat. You press the switch, nothing happened. Well, this vent looks suspicious. I don't think it's anything, but I, it looks it looks oddly interactable. Suspiciously interactable, my friends. Hallway for carrying and materials. Get at me, fool. He's not dead. He's not dead. He might be now. I'm not sure. He's dead. Okay. Oof. I can't check my health. All right. I forgot how scary dinosaurs are. <laughs> All right. Tough looking wire and netting. It's been smashed by something with incredible strength. We were here when we smashed it. Uh, and we killed it with the, with the electrical wire. Carrying out room B1. I don't know if there's anything else over here for me, to be honest. But we can double check. Remember this guy? He was in multiple, well, he was in one piece, but it was only a single piece of him. Uh, DDKs, yeah, we already know about the DDKs because we were up the big elevator before. There might not be much else to do here. Because we have both DDKs, it's just now we need to get to Gale. I can't go through there because it's locked. Can't be open from this end. I don't think we missed any items. Alright. I gotta get better at my tank controls. Come on. What's this? Okay, nothing exciting. All right, this will lead us back upstairs because this brings us to the generator room, which we can take all the way back up. I never really made use of this pathway that much from what I remember. I mean, it's nice to have for sure. I don't remember using it that often, to be honest. I always remember just going back up the stairs. But for now, we will go this way. Hemostats prevents loss during uh, blood loss. All right. Um, what can we do with these? Also, something I've noticed is that you don't really get the benefits. So, like, from something I feel like I've seen is that you can have a three stack or a two stack of something, and if you mix it, it acts the same as if you'd only mixed with a one stack. At least that's what seems to be the case. And it's a little saddening. Alright, yeah, we have plugs, DDKs. Alright, let's let's keep moving. Yeah, I don't need to I'm not gonna like scuttle places for items. I know there's an item I left back some uh, over by the elevator area, but I don't need to grab that. Whoops. Oh wait, I left so many so many uh, dinosaurs around here. Should be one in here too. I think. Maybe he's still sleeping. Or did he follow me out? I can't remember what happened. Alright. So I need to follow... Keycard L. A keycard that can unlock an electronic lock. Certifies the access type of kernel. 
I'm actually literally trying to remember what to do. The area will be disinfected this week because of Corona. All belongings should be kept in the lockers. Their belongings in the lockers is what that shouts. Personal effects. Personal effects. Oh, come on. One of these has got to have something in it, right? Oh, it's all the same. Come on. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. All right. From what I remember... Sorry, bud. Um, we need to get downstairs to Gale, which is kind of obvious. Um, but the how isn't as obvious. And I still think I'm missing some pieces, no lie. And I think I want to be on the other side of that grate. I don't like any of these sounds. These are the worst sounds. We're gonna go up this grating here in a sec. I don't know what's happening, I don't like it. <laughs> we gave up on that immediately, everyone. Immediate quit. There was a dinosaur in there. Did not want to make its acquaintance. I don't know where this lets out. I don't remember. And I feel like I haven't seen where it would let out. Or I just missed it. Toilet. The bathroom I missed? What? I actually don't remember this. Wait a minute. I don't remember the bathroom. <laughs> just, this has to be somewhere in the hallway and I just didn't pop in right what oh I know exactly where I am did I ever come in this room before I feel like I must have there doesn't seem to be anything important in here but I don't remember this everyone I'm shocked and stunned Oh, I might have the key card, the key card I have. Oh, sweet, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I remember we needed to come in this door eventually. <laughs> He's gonna keep running himself into that. We use the ID card, yeah. I knew I had it for something. We're made safe by the laser grid. Perfect. Yes, I remember this room. Look at all this, look at all this stuff. Look at all this, this dump of items. You got the FC device. When an ID card is created, this device is used to input the identification data. Even though we have a kernel's identification card, we need more identification cards. All right, collect the input disk with the same mark and set both parts into the door. DDKE. These machines are controlling various tactical simulation programs. This terminal keeps track of the soldiers who are positioned in the facility. I guess there's nothing interesting to glean. <laughs> the computer screen indicates idle status. Ooh, we got a, a yellow uh, box here. Oh, we got a plug. We have three plugs right now. Dang. These appear to be images from the scouting satellite. It clearly shows the hostile area weaponing, weapons positioning. Interesting. I love that there's just a war room right next to this bathroom. It's next to a very plain office. All right. Data file for an operation meeting. Subject, reinforcement of ID management. <laughs> right next to the card, card reader that lets you change everything. Earlier in the week, there was a case in which someone used the terminal that rewrites the ID cards to gain unauthorized access. This person acquired the fingerprint data from the corpse of a... This person acquired the fingerprint data from the corpse of a staff member who had died in an accident. He forged the dead man's ID by using the fingerprint data and entered the laboratory area by way of elevator. Number one. <laughs> That's messed up. That is messed up. It was probably Tom, to be fair, because they knew there was a spy among them, and he probably did that to cover himself. 
That is a very short-lived solution for sneaking around, though, let me tell you. Very short-lived. The problem is that the fingerprint collecting device can be acquired, uh, can acquire usable fingerprint data, even from a corpse. Since we will be having an experiment today, there will be many outsiders visiting the facility. When creating the ID cards for the guests, be careful with, uh, be keep a careful eye on the device. Well, it's ours now. This looks like another paper over here, but I don't think, I think this is the same thing. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, see how much this costs. Can store ammo, medical supplies in the emergency box. A plug, might as well, yeah. just one. Ooh, slag. Why doesn't it say slug? Um, slag, all right. How much space do I have? A little bit. Intensifier. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna mix some stuff. Maybe we should get in a better room for mixing. I need to turn down the music, and it's a lot better. Completely forgot about this bathroom, dude. I can't believe. So quiet in here too. Are we sure no one's dead in any of these stalls? Can we go out the back here? Nope. Weird. Quiet room. All right. Uh, we do have an M dart, so intensifier. So that just incre increases the power of an item though. Hit circle. Um, okay, that makes them good. Probably, uh, what if I mix it with hemostat? Oh, flip, dude, I'm gonna do this all day. So that makes a really s small, one bad med kit. Um, there we go, and then if I mix, actually, if you mix these, still makes, well, it makes more because there's more to them. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> All right, mix. Cause sometimes it just doesn't really, it takes into account the volume sometimes. It depends on what you're making. And that would also be useless, which is fine by me. All right. Yeah, that, that'll only go into that. And that can only go into those. Cool. Alright. If we mix. Do it. Alright, so now we have some potent darts. Wait. Let's start me off with the dart here. If we add the hemostat, it bumps it up a baby bit. Just a little baby bit. Okay. Oh, wait, what if we... All right, no, we're not gonna... <laughs> I, need the, I need to get the chart out, man, because uh, I don't feel like experimenting. All right, let's go. Going up. We're gonna stick with our buckshot for now. We're gonna save the slag rounds. I like shooting dinosaurs. I think, honestly, this game's probably one of the more easier ones to... Or at least, it's safer very often to save ammo. Um, because there's lots of dinosaurs out there, and they're really strong. <laughs> Sometimes you are just safer running. Also, I love the camera angles in this game. It's fun that it's still, all still, like, third, not third person necessarily, but it's fixed camera angles, where, like, the camera angle is at a certain point in the room, but it does follow you very cinematically around certain corners and angles, and that makes it a lot of fun. It, it's, a, it's a nice step up from Resident Evil. It makes it feel a bit more dynamic instead of just, like, the stationary... Same old positions. I think, yeah. Alright. Back into this horror hallway. Woo! Nope. 
The door, the door. <laughs> Shoot. Jeez. Don't come through that door, please. I'd be really upset. Alright, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. Alright, I gotta remember how to do this. Uh, FC device, so no fingerprint data currently. Uh, let me read these items here. So we have this ID card, check. Card data may be overwritten when facility personnel changes occur. Cool. Um, all right, so right now we need a fingerprint. Now we wouldn't necessarily know this just yet, but we're gonna go find out, actually. Can we kill two birds, one stone here? Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Not worth it now. I'm gonna try and shut the gate on him. Oh, Regina. Oh, Regina, it's okay. Honestly, the amount of healing items I made, <laughs> I'm probably good to part with one of them. Alright. Also, we have a ton of stuff in this red box over here. Pull out a DVD. Alright, yeah, we got a bunch of darts, man. What did I do with my other... Okay, we do have an L dart there. Alright. Alright, mix. Yeah, we can mix resuscitations with the L dart plus plus to make... <laughs> it takes both resuscitations. Which I think is stupid. This is the word stupid. To make one murder dart. Murder dart. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it. Cause I like my murder darts. Alright, hemostat. Mix that with the other ones, but that doesn't help me. Alright. So we have... And I'm gonna... Yeah, so this is the Colonel's ID, but we can't get down there because of the fact that the Colonel can go to the war room, but he doesn't belong in the research facility. Did I get this map earlier? Okay, I did. Then we have poor, uh, this is Paul Baker, right? Whatever his name is. He still has an arm, though. You know what that means. Get his fingerprint, because he's dead. Fingerprint data collected. Um, do I need anything else from him? Possibly a researcher. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, this is movable. Oh, shoot. Yes. Recovery aid. More things. Good to go, good to go, good to go. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I might pop it, pump it down a little more. Maybe a couple. Just be safe. Alright. So now I need to use this computer, yeah? A device that can rewrite the data of an ID card. The staff assigned to the first, second, and B1 floors have their ID data registered in this terminal. To rewrite the data, you need an ID card. Alright, so... I can give it the one that I already have. Here we go. Initiating card data rewriting sequence. Perfect. Enter the personnel registration number. Mm, it's five numbers. Shoot. Uh, what's the registration number? The line is on hold. That's because I called the guy. Fucked.
I don't remember the registration number. Hold on. Yeah, Paul Baker, 1123. That's I, I remember that. that. That's one of the things that has been locked in my childhood memory was just that. Um, oh, here we go. 58104. Alright, here we go. Oh, I need to put in the ID card again. Alright, so we put in the ID card so I can overwrite it. I already forgot the number. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Dang it. Was it five, four, one, eight, three? Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, and it kicks you right out. It doesn't let you try again. <laughs> what did I say it was? Five, eight, one, oh, four. <laughs> what am I doing? Five, eight, one, oh, four. I can remember it 20 steps away. Jeez. Embarrassing. There we go, okay. Five, eight, one, oh, four. That'd be great if it didn't let you retype it in. Ah, yes, the bird. The register number has been verified. Please enter the fingerprint data. Will you enter the fingerprint data? Yes. Access and request the data. Woo! Stabilizer experiment room. How do you research your Paul Baker? Will you rewrite this card? Heck yeah! Card has been rewritten. Awesome. We did it. Alright. Uh, yeah, what do I have for items right now? Got a lot of shoddy. Some pistol ammo. Uh, some slugs. Alright. Is there anything we want to mix here? A lot of hemostats. Is that how you pronounce it? Hemostat? Hemostat? That doesn't really help it that much. No, it's a recovery, and that's why. Also doesn't help it that much. Uh, yeah. Need like an intensifier. You can also get multipliers, I believe. Actually, let's hang on to my poison dart until I can find a multiplier, shall we? Science and human ingenuity with laser fences. Hell yeah. Alright. Also, I was always. I hated that this did nothing. It's just like a. Actually, I think this is where you. I swipe the keycard, actually. <laughs> Stupid me. Hold on. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got. Alright. And Ada starts. Um. Yeah, for now, let's... Might put away our darts. Um... And aid, just to make stuff. We have one more medkit. All my resuscitations are in other boxes. Cool. Or used. <laughs> to make darts. Paul Baker. Yes! We are making progress. Success. Oh, this game. So good. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this one. Get out of the elevator. Get him off, get him off. Okay. Just a solid five or so shotgun blasts. Yes. I hate dinosaurs, man. <laughs> I thought I hated zombies. Dinosaurs are also real bad. All right, security manual, volume one. Will you read the file? Yes. DDK, the electronic lock system that we all love in this facility, has been updated. A more intricate code system has been introduced and the security level has been improved. You will need to be aware of the following information when entering the password. 
I love the idea that they have a password and they're like, we will give you the option to decode it if you need to. Especially for people who have no idea. All right, number-based key decoding part one. In, th in a case where numbers are written instead of letters in the key field, the numbers could represent the codes for the corresponding characters. What? Here is an example of correspondence charts between the letters and the code numbers. A is equal to one, B is equal to two, C is equal to three. So it's just one through 26 then, I'd imagine. This is a cool table, it's got their logo on it. Ooh, maps. Give me them maps. Love me that map data. Map screen, map screen. All right, long hallway, got a few different rooms, looks like. Bum. A lot of drums in the uh, Ibis Island facility here. All right, DDK device that contains the correct whatever. Release the lock. Do it. Okay, so C D E F and G. All right, so no F C D E F G. So L C D E F G A C no C. Uh, there is a B though. I think this one might be laboratory because <laughs> of where we're going. Hold on, yeah, no, D, there's an O, uh, A, B, C, D, E, yeah, no, E, but C, D, E, F, G, H, yeah, no, G, or H, O, R, uh, factory, uh, uh, but there's none of, there's an A, though, yeah, so there's no C, there's a T, no D, there's an O, no E, R, Y. Laboratory. That was correct. These are the easiest passwords sometimes too. It's, I, I mean, it's a good video game puzzle. Much like dinosaurs, are a great puzzle. Come at me, boys. Oh. I got seven rounds for y'all. You can eat them. Try to put them all in the one. Hopefully. Alright. Well, that's that on that. Um. Equip our no, it's more more sh regular shells. Yeah, we're good. Just in case, though. This whole game is I, I I don't remember I remember a lot of things from it, but I don't remember everything. So just putting up laser grids might be for my own safety. Library room. I remember the library room a little bit. It's not currently my favorite. That much I know. Might need that. Whoa! Dinosaurs are scary. Whoa, dinosaurs are real scary. More medkits, awesome. <laughs> Run. <Rough. laughs> Alright, there's a console in here that we're gonna need to use. Research area hallway, yay. Dinosaurs are scary. Oh, oh that's not good for me. Oh, did I say no? Are you serious? Jeez. Alright, you need to, now they start increasing the amount of plugs you need to open stuff up. Um, I'm gonna say no for now. 
because we're generally okay on meds. I got a lot of uh, items for medical stuff. And my main concern right now is ammo, so if I find a red one, I might be in down for it. So do you still have those slugs? I'm pretty sure they're slugs, unless it's slag. <laughs> what you be loading your shotgun? Oh, I got these slags? You mean slugs? No, I got slags, bud. Let's see. The larger shot size makes them more destructive than the SG bullets. Oh, okay, so it's just better shot. Filing cabinets, minute books, and files can't maybe stored here. Maybe stored inside. Big screen where the image from a projector would be shown. That's not a button. Probably the blue glowing button is a button. Looks like a researcher's journal. We read the journal. March, third energy. It is the system that can produce infinite energy from the air. Ho oh, dang, we're gonna solve all the problems. The completion of this system will signify the end of one of society's greatest problems. It is true that the system was initially developed for military use, but we can, uh, but we took part in the project because there is a silver lining in it for our future. But something is terribly wrong. The military has been giving us excessively favorable treatment for the simple development of a fundamental energy system. Hmm, I wonder why. I must discover the true purpose of this project before irreparable harm is done. What on earth is that kid planning to do? April. I haven't found any clues in the past month. He is indeed a genius. He seems to have noticed our secret investigation activities. I heard that he established a secret lab on this floor somewhere. <laughs> How do you just establish a secret laboratory? <laughs> they just they start construction behind, like they just break down a wall like they're just some HGTV set up like we're gonna build a secret lab and like all these people come down break down the walls like i wonder where it is <laughs> all right i haven't found any clues in the past month he's indeed a genius seems to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. secret lab the only way to learn of his true intentions will be to find that lab july at long last mike has found a clue pertaining to the location of the secret laboratory he said that he hid the clue in our secret place <laughs> inside the library room. Kirk has been meeting frequently with Colonel Clay, the leader of the project, in the computer room lately. What are they up to? Computer room assess. Adding another, adding another gas to one with a poison level under 30 may neutralize the gas. <laughs> Interesting. Red gas neutralizes the poison in the green gas. Blue gas neutralizes poison in the orange gas. Green gas neutralizes the poison in the purple gas. Remember these rules when mixing the gases. <laughs> About that. Ooh, more plugs. Got another th have three now. Make sure to lock the door by the computer during experiments. This computer terminal controls the condition of the experiment room remotely. Something is shown on the display. 7284. Right? 7284, awesome. Don't think I can push this guy. Nope. Alright. Keep moving about. Alright, so is it. I might write this down because I wanna I wanna actually do this right. I never did this right as a kid, I always just picked random colors. Alright. So, it says red neutralizes green, and I don't know if this pen writes anymore. Oh my gosh, it does not. Are you kidding? Oh no, you make me, you make me sad. Come on. Come on, little guy. Oh, he's giving up the ghost. Sad day. Hold on, I have a pen. I just don't want to, I don't want to do it wrong. I don't want to. Oh, let's see. We have many pens in the room. There are many pens. Arch, or arch support, back support. Headphones on, we need that awesome music. Yeah, all right. Uh, so if it's green, we'll, we'll do that first, so. We'll do the color. So green, we do red. Uh, 
So if it's orange, we do blue. If it's green, all right, if it's purple, we do green. Remember these rules. All right. Wait, is that all it says? But what if it's just red? Oh, well, we'll figure it out. And what was this code? Maybe I ought to write this down too. 7248. Because I'm good at forgetting things, as you have noticed already. Door is locked, but there doesn't appear to be any place to set a key. Uh, is there not a keypad? Is this not the keypad? Nope. Yeah, that's a projector. What about that? I mean, it's probably gonna walk me out of the room, but nope, that ain't it. Because there's a little light there. Part of this not the keypad? Yeah, it's just gonna show me the same thing. All right, this needs to be unlocked from somewhere else, I'm thinking. And these warnings are just, yeah. Nothing on this side of the wall. And those are filing cabinets. All right, we move on. We have so many information about gases though. That's exciting. It's my favorite part. All right. Are there any on this side? Don't think so. I think they're just over on the other side. Famous last words. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. The computer room, excellent. Where there may or may not be secret labs. And it's quiet. Very quiet. More plugs. All right, can I find a like red a red box would be great. A file titled Security Manual number two. Read it. The DDK electronic lock system of the facility has been updated. Uh, if two is in the keyword. Okay, no, that is, uh, that is different. I thought it was gonna be the same thing. I was gonna be like, really? All right, number based key decoding part two. In the case where the numbers are written instead of letters in the key field, the numbers could indicate the columns to be deleted. For example, if the two is in the keyword, you should delete all of the letters from the second column of the code. That's gonna be fun. Anything in these lockers? terminal to operate the supercomputer the power is not turned on i have no power for the supercomputer supercomputer installed in the wall the computer is used to simulate energy efficiency what of the third energy third energy ladies and gentlemen all right simulator being run on the supercomputer the results of the calculations done by the computer are displayed on the monitor there's a key card here a slot to insert a card key there is an identical slot on the other side of the monitor. And we are wondering where this secret laboratory is. <laughs> there is no open closed device on the lid of this panel. I don't even think we need to get in there right now. That doesn't seem to be important either. All right. Where does this lead? Oh, this is a save point. Cool. We shall save it. Yes. Success. Main hallway B1. Ooh, red one. Yeah, let's get some ammo. How many does this want? It wants two. We really got him. Ooh. Alright. Oh. 
40 S and W bullets. Those sound like fun. Uh, with this, we can also access. Yeah, here's all our other darts. <laughs> um, hold on. Let's let's use this to our advantage here. Let's pull out this poison dart real quick. We're just gonna put it with all the other darts. <laughs> Pistol ammo. Um. Let me look at some stuff. Let's let's mix some things. I'm gonna have a mixing party. Have a mixer. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I need at least three med kits from every every creation. Oops, dude, makes so many med kits, dude. It's so easy to get full life recovery stuff, man. Um. Uh, no. All right. Honestly, I might leave the rest of the. <laughs> I have so much stuff I can just leave lying around. Alright. We're gonna mix some darts at some point here soon. <laughs> and so that's the funny thing is like they say red or like red is like obviously the, for weaponry, greens for healing items, and yellows for both, at least for what you get out of them when you initially open them. But the fact that you can put whatever you want in them kind of almost defeats the purpose in my mind. Not 100%, but it, it would be interesting if red boxes only allowed you to transfer ammo, because that would be... I feel like you'd mostly stick to yellow boxes at that point, but... But as far as e-box system goes, I do love the idea of... Do you want weapons, do you want health, or do you want a little bit of both? Alrighty, um... Yeah, give, me, give me all your bullets. <laughs> Sort everything. Ooh. Stick with the SGs for now. We're still just fighting. Basic Raptors. <laughs> that is literally the definition of don't let the door hit you on the way out. Isn't this where I ran away from a couple of dinosaurs? It very well may be. Alright. So what do we have? We have our ID card. Oh yeah, we have this room. You won't be hanging the new bathroom cabinet tonight. Oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, <laughs> you plan on doing it tomorrow? You just not have the time. A terminal to manage the information of the key chips that are used to open the data storage. You can input the data to a key chip and search the data storage from here. Uh, I don't think I have the right item for this kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's not gonna do me. Um, we have E. Where is he? Ooh! Pan gun sights, heck yes! Let's, uh... Equip that, and then... Oh, no, wait, how do we do this again? The Glock 35 with a sight attached. Yes! With epic bullets. Right. This is when she carries it differently, too, I think. Yeah, she carries it like this. If we walk, you might not know where we are. That previous statement was a lie, especially when you shoot. My bad. <laughs> You need some toggle bolts, okay. What do the toggle bolts do? All storage electronically locked. The key chip with the correct data save must be sent. No, we're He's gonna swipe at me, but category of the data is stored here in the weapons. Okay, so blue is for weapons. We're gonna run. Because we're about to get chased. Oh! Oh no. All right, we have like another set of dinos here. 
which I'm not excited about. Hey boys. I don't think that panel is anything. Don't let it hit you on the way out. Alright. So we need a key chip of some kind to get into the those one into those uh, electronically locked cabinets. This computer terminal controls the condition of the experiment room remotely. Something is shown on the display. So we don't have a DDK door to go into. Destination. Oh, they have a destination, so that, that, like my where I want to get is into that room. I don't know that they showed you that. All right. And this just talks about gases. That's the the board. Is this a different note right here? No, I think that's part of it. Let's see. Those toggle bolts. They're used to hang heavier objects on the wall. On walls, we can where you can hit a stud. They spring open in the wall. Oh, I know the, the what you're talking about. I, I didn't. Uh, the name didn't talk. Uh, <laughs> didn't toggle it for me. Uh, the, the name toggle bolt. But yeah, no, I know. I think I know what you're talking about. It has been a while since I've constructed additional pylons. It's been quite some time. Plans for experiments written down. Can't hit a stud. You know, got one of them stud finders. I know none of these are probably gonna work. Um, <laughs> plugs? No, okay. Maybe there's gotta be something in the uh, the computer room that unlocks this, right? Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember. Well, my childhood memory fails me. Which is okay because it it brings it brings the game side of this back. Um. All right. 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 Got a screwdriver. I remember the screwdriver. I think I only need the screwdriver for this. Will you remove the screws? Yeah. Sure. I don't have to operate this right now. So yeah, that's the thing. Is like. Didn't even need to do that right now, so that's why I was kind of like, eh. So I remember what that's for. This terminal's on, actually. Let's see if we can mess with this. Maybe this is what we need to do. Experimental area control program running. Auto lock status on. Will you release the lock? Yeah. Yes, there we go, easy. Enter the area number to be released. There's only one, but hey. Seven, two, four, eight, because we wrote it down. Like a smart person. <laughs> the number has been confirmed. The gas experiment room lock has been released. Cool. There's no real safe way back there, so we're just gonna go. Uh, might as well save. Can't hurt, can't hurt. The research area. Oh no wait, yeah, it's right here. For some reason I thought it was behind the, the laser grid. Look at the research meeting rooms right next to the experiment room. And it is now unlocked. Gas experiment room. Where we experiment with the gases. It has been released. There's a man in there. And he appears to be breathing, but he's breathing the gases. Gas bottles for experiments. Three different types of gas can be mixed. Machines that monitor the gas chamber. You can collect data such as the gas poison level and the gas effect on the human body. 
That's exciting. Poor guy. Power distribution panel for the experiment. Devices, a gas detector is also equipped. All right, here we go. There are three buttons. They're used to supply the gas to the gas chamber. Which button will you press? To save or destroy this man's poor life. All right. So we have red, green, and blue as options. So this looks, it looks orange to me. Is this orange or is this green? It's not like a heavy orange. Nor would I call this a green. Is it? Is it a lime green? Gosh, I'd be a terrible doctor, apparently, or scientist. Um, hmm. It looks yellow. <laughs> I'd say light green. Yeah, it's looking. It's looking yellowy. So I feel like yellow is closer to green than it would be to orange. Or at least this kind of color. Let's, let's go green. Okay, that helped. That definitely helped. Um, it's just looking more orange now. Do I double down on the green? Do I keep going? Uh, oh, wait. If it's green, you hit red. What did I hit? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, I'm ruining, I'm, I'm messing up my own thing here. All right, so it looks green. That ain't orange. So I go red. Is what I'm supposed to do. There we go. That's good. That's that's nice. I like that. I did just save. You're right. I can come back and kill this man again. All right. This is definitely orange. So this will be blue. There we go. See, look at that. Easy. Wow. It's so much easier when you when you write down what you need to do. All right. This unlocked. Excellent. Are you all right? You're gonna be okay. What happened? That that fool. Who are you talking about? What are you planning, Kirk? I'm here with the rescue team. Where is Dr. Kirk? Here. This will give you access to his personal lab. Sadness. The numbers 3695 are handwritten onto it. I love that they tell you that and they don't, they don't even make you like look at it. They're just like, yeah, it's there. You, of course, you can look at it again. Uh, but it's just funny that they automatically tell you that. They don't want you to have to go and look. That's sad. He died anyway. The words em em emergency case are carved into it. Oh, yeah, the emergency cases. That's right. Anything else? Nope. So I like the idea that he came into this room to hide from dinosaurs. And I don't know how he got locked in from the first door, but the second door definitely locked because of the gases. And I don't know if he gassed himself, which I doubt. I mean, Kirk probably locked him in here. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Kirk locked him in, turned on some gas and said, you can die, buddy. Jerk. Because of course. <laughs> Get out of there. Now we turn this experiment right around. <laughs> there are three buttons to supply gas to the gas chamber. Let's give him some green. Ooh, I like that. Oh wow, green went straight up. <laughs> Ah, and we've angered PETA. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh, if it's... We need to do some blue. Yeah, okay, I did a little something. Now I'll leave it at that. There we go. We have poisoned the dinosaur. Now we can just distribute that into the atmosphere. We'll be solid. How do you not hear a dinosaur come through two separate doors? Then again, they are automatic doors, so I mean, it wasn't, wouldn't be that hard for the dinosaur to get in, I'd imagine. Would not be too tough. It would not be that tough. Alright. 
the real question. Do I open this green box? I'm thinking I don't. I'm thinking I just let it be. All right, we're gonna go around. For safety. For safety's sake. I, I have a habit of saving. It's better for streaming to save because you might die. And I don't like dying and having to replay stuff on stream. It makes me feel bad. It makes me feel bad. At least when it's a lot of progress anyway. Safety first. Alright. Back in here. Where's my brain right now? Yes, back in here. It was three, six, four, five? I'm guessing. I don't hear that raptor anymore. Either he's sneaking about or he's waiting for me here. Um, uh, what did I say? Was it? Is it six nine four five? No, ooh, that was that was a great that was a great sound. Three six four five. Oh, that's what I said before. Yeah. I I think it's that. We can look. But do we look? No, we don't. We're gonna we're gonna say three six four five because I still believe it's that. There we go. <laughs> ooh, unlucky, unlucky. All right, big money, big money. Here we go. All right, let's look at it. <laughs> Three, six, nine, five. Where? What happened to me, man? Yikes! My memory. Oh, and you can't. Got to go to the item first. Uh, this one. Yes. Three, six, nine, five. Yay! The number has been confirmed, displaying the magnetic pattern data for the storage 3695. Please overwrite the magnetic pattern of the key chip correctly. Yay. This is one of the more fun puzzles. So our target is that little one lower there. So we want to make you grab uh, every two uh, little things here. You'll see. I remember this one. Yeah, this one's fun. I actually like this puzzle. I wish there was a little bit more of this. So basically, wherever the icon is in between, it'll move those two and bring them to the top. So top to bottom, we need to be thinking on how we make this. So I don't know if I'm going to end up moving all of it, but if I guess let's think like that. So this is the bottom. And we want two full ones. And then we want these empty ones. And then we move this one. I'm the man. Awesome. Complete. Data overwrite complete. Data storage 3695. The indicator has been turned on under blue for weapons. Alright, we got that back. I think we need that to open the thing. There might be a dinosaur in here. He might be screwing with me. Uh, there it is. Look at all those VHSs. <laughs> the letter R is carved into the card. That's all it says. <laughs> Alright, cool. The memo's in the storage. Team Rocket! They're at it again, those jerks. Dear Paul, I finally found the clue. This is the key card that you need to enter his secret lab. The only chance to enter it is during tonight's experiment. Obtain the other car, uh, key card without hesitation. The other key card is in the chief's room. I heard the secret codes for the hidden safe are written on the panel keys. The chief's room. Have I been in the chief's room? I, wasn't that the upstairs place? I had both those key cards and put them in. Do I, so do I already have the other one? Now, if we find out where the laboratory is, everything will be solved. I'll leave that to you. Good luck, Mike. All right, thanks to Paul and Mike for getting us here. 
items. Key card that can unlock an electronic lock. Key card R. Oh, L and R, it's the left and right lock. All right, we're cool. We're kosher, we got this. All right. Mm, safest way is this way to get into the lab. I'm, <laughs> I'm being super safe, I don't wanna die. I wanna die very little. He was screwing with me. He was lying in wait. Nope, nope, not again. Freaking raptors, dude. Slaying me over here. Alright, we made it. Alright, we're on the right side. You'll need assistance in order to release this lock. Will you call Gale? <laughs> I love that, the, how it gives that option of just, will you call Gale? And I don't know what happens if you say no. I don't. I think it just waits for you to do it again and say yes. <laughs> I wish it said, will you call Rick because you don't like Gale right now? <laughs> I finally made it to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it needs two people working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. He's supposed to be down here, and you don't see him. Makes me nervous. So, what's our status? Here, take this. Ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. A very on three, and not an on three and then go. You're all clear. Let's go. <laughs> you figure out the lock. I'm bad at puzzles. All right, a DDK device, the symbol E is inscribed, that contains the correct information. Will you set the DDK? Heck yeah. All right, so the third defense ball on here. It... All right, so it said we take out the f uh, whatever row. So basically, The only things we're looking at in these two rows are columns, excuse me. So if we're taking out all those columns, it would be E, N, I think it's energy, if my memory serves, but E, N, E, R, G, Y, yeah. Okay, that's easy. That's not too hard of a, a changing up, change up in the puzzle. <laughs> it asks you to save your progress again. Sure, why not? Save it, save it. We're about to go find Dr. Kirk. Find his secret lab. I always think it'd be nice and cozy to have your own hidden room when your uh, entire uh, laboratory is being run amok by dinosaurs. Experiment simulation room. Dr. Kirk, here to make friends with you. We're just gonna shut that shader distorting off. We don't, we don't need that. It looks like a doctor's journal. Will you read the file? It is easy to unleash any kind of power. The real task is keeping the power under control. Isn't that always what it is in these kind of stories? The improvement of the initializer ignition device has enhanced energy efficiency to the maximum. Despite that progress, we have been unable to advance the development of the stabilizer safely. Uh, the stabilizer safety valve since the accident that happened three years ago. The third energy theory will surely alter human history dramatically. But as long as there is an uncertain element regarding the control of this power, even if it is only 0.1% of a probability, my work will be nothing but a terrible failure. That sucks. That's bad. Those are bad numbers. <laughs> All right. Uh, the restraining... Uh, the restraining power of the stabilizer we used in tonight's experiment was insufficient. The area affected by the excess energy is estimated to be the radius of 3,300 feet. 
The result of tonight's experiment may release or may please the military people in a sense. The giant creatures that emerged just after the experiment have given me much inspiration. That is dark and scary. Also, time machine question mark. Uh, the most important thing to do right now is to leave here safely. As soon as I finish analyzing the data, I'll evacuate via the bottom floor. There's something down below. There's an item here too. Ooh, free elder. Heck yeah. Supercomputer for exclusive use in this experiment room. Precise simulations are required for all experiments conducted here. That's exciting. There is a there's a pipe there. It's in the way. Can I use this setup? Nope. Does it have minesweeper maybe? It's some kind of simulator. There are three switches on the panel. Ignite third energy circuit. Set the initializer and set the stabilizer. If I ignite it, the ignition plug has been not been set. Okay, so we have to initial, initialize first. So initializer first. Stabilizer. And then activate third energy device. It's a cool little effect. I always liked it. All right. More hidden things. I found it interesting that you can have the, ooh, by attaching it, uh, the time for lag reloading is eliminated. Yes, faster shotgun. Oh, you have to equip, equip the shoddy. I'm, I'm bad at the menu in this game, wow. First of all, it's under equip, there we go. Then we need to equip this with it. The PA-3 shotgun is fitted with the stock. Uh, can I look at it now? Increased stability allows for faster follow-up shots. Awesome. Um, yeah, we'll leave that, we'll leave that. Yeah, now, now she doesn't aim at the hip, she aims with the shoulder now. Excellent. Is there anything on? I was going to say, it's interesting that you can have, they have things hidden behind objects, but sometimes they're also just on the shelves as well. Dr. Kirk's personal terminal. It is used to analyze data and can be used to release the emergency evacuation hatch. An emergency evacuation hatch for emergencies. It's securely sealed by several electronic locks. Okay, there's nothing else here to look at. No, Dr. Kirk. Maybe he ran away. Is this anything I can look at? Possibly the power supply for the simulators. All right, cool, cool, cool. Gail, I didn't find him. What do, what do, help, help. He's not here. He's not Why? here. This operation Why? is taking way too long already. Warning. The emergency system has been activated. How? Emergency lockdown. What's going on? Shoot. What's going on? Oh, Kirk must have tripped off the security system. That fool. What's your status, Regina? I'm reading an emergency lockdown in your section. We're trapped inside here. Kirk must have triggered it off. We didn't touch anything. Can you clear it? I'll see what I can do. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gale. We'll find a way out somehow. What's wrong with this thing? He is trying to find out how to release the locks from this room. Alright. Sounds like he didn't take a lot of typing classes as a kid. <laughs> he's just he's just doing his one finger typing taps. Alright. Will you operate the circuit panel? Heck yeah. This is also a fun puzzle. Alright. So we want to make that weird tubey pipes. Alright. I like to look at this guy first. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, no. At least not like that. Like this? 
no. I think stuff does need to overlap at some point. So that one might not go first. If we do this, then this. Oh, we're, we're there. We're just doing it in the wrong order. All right. Things are overlapping in a way they shouldn't. All right. All right, so this one needs to go first. Then this one, then this one. There it is. Excellent. Circuit restored, emergency lockdown. Broken Warning. or something. The emergency lockdown has been bypassed. You have 10 minutes until this section is sealed off. 10 minutes. We better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way Place out. Place number two. That's great. But the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to Dinos. make it through there. Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. Brilliant plan, fearless leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break through there. Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother system. Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. I know. You just have to trust me. I don't. <laughs> Fine. What about you? Who picked this Make team? Your choice. Who picked this team of people who do not work well together at all? I it makes me wonder if Cooper was the leader because <laughs> no one's pulling rank. Alright, what will you do? Choose the option you believe in. Gale strategy, break through the area relying upon your skill. Rick's strategy, cooperate with Rick and escape through the hatch. I believe I said it earlier we're gonna go full we're gonna go full Rick uh first way through, so. We're gonna do all the fun puzzles. <laughs> Saving progress, heck yeah. <laughs> this is one of the only things I feel like, if they ever, if they ever, which I really wish they would, if they ever do a remake or, or a remaster of this game, which I would love for them to do, I would really hope that they, uh, they add in a save component that isn't so easy. A little bit more like Resident Evil, make it a little bit more limited, or a little bit more difficult. You can release emergency hatch with this computer terminal. Will you operate the terminal? Yeah. Yes. I think this is a matching game. Got it. Can't remember. I just cracked into the mother system. Good, good work, Rick. Good, good work. Uh, doing nothing. But that's just the beginning. The release code for the hatch automatically rewrites itself periodically. We have access. It's got two factors. But we're down to two chances to clear it. So let's make sure we get it the first time around. I'm, I'm going to force the system to display the release code. Make sure you enter them exactly as displayed. Let's do it. So F F D C D F F D C E Oh crap. F F D C I want to say it was E E you're saying E I agree with E that's what I said I think I don't remember it being uh quite like this oh that hurts all right you punched in the wrong code careful jeez Rick we have one more chance all right counting on you all right I got to do better at this all right hold on A B B, A, B, B, F, A, B, B, F, A, B, B, F, E, A, A, 
B, B, F, E? <laughs> How do I forget so quickly? What is this? <laughs> Was it actually E? Why do I end everything in E? If this is wrong, I'm a freak guy. My brother is saying E, you gonna die. <laughs> I don't remember. Thank goodness. That's one. Oh, jeez. Alright. A. A, D. Add. B. A, D, B. C. A, D, B, C. A. A, D, B, C, A. C. F. A, D, B, C. <laughs> hey, see your record, how's it going? I'm stressing out. Uh, A, F, or C, F, yeah, yeah. A, C, F. A, D, B, C, A, C, F. That sounds right. And I'm sure you just typed it in because I'm doing so poorly. <laughs> Oh man, this is going great. I, I should just write this down. It'd be easier. D. F. Oh, it's not writing. F. F. E. F. E. E. A. I didn't, I couldn't write it down. I tried so hard to write it down. Thank you, brother, for saving me every time. Uh, D. <laughs> I swear, I, I did this really well when I was younger. I, I had the memory uh, down pat, man. Uh, or did I? Yeah, did you save me or did you screw me? Let's see. Most of that sounds right. I remember there being a lot of E's. Um, I, I was reading chat and trying to get this thing to write, and like it wrote everything before fine. Like all, all that writing is fine, but that this is what it looked like when I tried writing again. It just, it, it just didn't fully write, and it was really, it was really sad. All right. Oh, <laughs> thank you, brother man. <laughs> Excellent. You've got mad skills. You've got mad skills. No, don't I don't. Time. Next stream, can you play Terraria? I will have to purchase it. Um, I have yet to play or buy it, um, but I very well may. Will you use the emergency evacuation hatch? No, <laughs> even though I did all this work. Carrying out room B1. That hatch we saw before. Do it now, says Andrew Corn. <laughs> so it. demanding. Dr. Kirk, we've come to help. We're representatives from your nation's government. Dr. Kirk. My nation? <laughs> I'm touched. And what do you government agents want with me? He's a libertarian. Shut up. You're coming with us if I have to knock you out and drag you back myself. Well, according to the government, I'm officially deceased, correct? If that's the way you want it, I'd be more than happy to oblige. So what'll it be, genius? So angry. Relax, agent. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. Don't give spit. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chart. You can't do this! I have rights! Right! According to command, your government property, pal. See you later, Sandy Corn. Take it up with them. No! They can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back! <laughs> I love how this angry is he is. Preposterous. I'll see if I get Terraria going. Then shoot me, you idiot. You lame, flat top, jaw headed. Shut up. Where's the communication room? Shut up. Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. Oh. 
find. I'll keep threatening him with death. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished business? Business? You're acting sketchy, man. All right. I have just the biggest desire, number one right now. We have the, that key. So we are gonna run through and open up. Oh, I have to, I have to run through another location to get there, don't I? Oh no, the, the grating might be up. The grating might be open and up. Um, it is. Oh wait, but I don't need it, need it anyway. There we go. I really want to open one of those lock boxes. <laughs> Let's see what's in them. All right, anybody who's still in chat, Anybody watching right now? Left or right? Because I'm pretty sure we only get one. We have one key, and there's two lock boxes. Left or right? Give you a give you a minute here. Safe room music. Happy safe room music. And a dead body. Left. Hey. Good old. Uh the, the pronunciation. It's always always try to pronounce it. Middle. Middle is not helpful. <laughs> Uh, good old Utah High Mountain, my friends, my friends, my family, my lovers, my friends, my my compatriots, my my everything is basically <laughs> the whole family at large. How y'all doing? All right. Unless anybody says something in like the next two seconds, we're gonna go with left. And then we'll need to remember for the second playthrough because we'll go right. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're going left. We have a key. My brother agrees on the left. Small, oh, not that one. Left. You've unlocked the emergency case. Resuscitations. All right, we got resuscitations. Excellent, actually. Okay, we need we need an L plus plus dart to make a to make some murder darts with that. Poor Tom. Oh wait, there's another med kit in here, isn't there? Med kit. Alrighty, here we go. One more save. All right, I think we're gonna do the communications tower, and then after that we will uh. We might call it a night for uh, Dino Crisis. Um, I love playing this game. This game's a lot of fun. I'm thinking what I might do is uh, I have some friends, new friends actually, that I made recently that are playing some due process. So I may switch over to due process. I think we'll uh, we'll have a bit of a break and then I will switch over to that and change the stream up and whatnot. Um, this doesn't change anything, but it might make me feel better. Put that behind us. <laughs> All right, we need to activate the security. Security, the uh, radio antenna to contact our helicopter. There's no Rick, so that we can get out of here with Dr. Kurt. Game's almost over. <laughs> All right, calm ID card. That didn't work. Okay, it uses, <laughs> it uses it there, I don't know why. All right, there is a button. Will you press it? Yes. A lot of elevators in this game. <laughs> oh, another bot, uh, red e box. Ooh, slag bullets, yes. That's exciting. All right, do we open up this box? I never come to this room. I don't remember this room much at all. Just one plug, do it. Multiplier, ooh, a multiplier. All right, we have access to this box, so we don't need to grab it all now. But, um... <laughs> uh, uh, no, let's just take the, uh... 
extra SG bullets. We're, we're using a shotgun right now, so. All right, what's going on up here? A list of frequencies pertaining to communication signals, a signals destination. The electrical field is unstable. Perhaps the antenna is source of the problem. All right. Ah. Is a memo of a recorder. The antenna will be stored temporarily at 9 p.m. tonight due to the experiment. All right, so they stored the antenna, so we're going to have to pull it out. Files contains communication records. Nothing important. This box is printed with the following message. Antenna activation key for emergency use only. Well, here we go. It's an emergency. A startup key in the shape of a card. The door has been unlocked. <laughs> Gotta save every time. It takes me an extra minute. Don't care. Safety first. <laughs> Don't be risky. I'm coming out super orange with this game. I, I really need to get some better light in here. All right, this is that door, okay. So the antenna is all the way down here. Do, do, do. And this one. Communications antenna room. All right, let's, let's start this thing. All right. Uh, antenna key. Perfect. The activation key has been set. Preparations for antenna activation are complete. Okay, good. Start it for me. I remember this being kind of cool. The future. <laughs> Unique satellite dishes, the future. All right. Now with this, we can call the helicopter because the one man with a working radio died. But Gina, nope. what happened? The emergency lock on the second floor has just been activated. I'm a bit busy right now. Do something about it. Don't sweat it. I'll release the lock. Bad dinosaur. Nope. Get up. Oh. Ow. Still locked. Oh. Oh, shoot. I should have fired more. I should have fired way more. I don't remember ever getting one hit there. Oh no. All right, death count at two. <laughs> Get to watch this lovely scene again. Oh shoot. Got anything that goes boom? We have shotgun. We do not have a grenade launcher as of yet. I'm a bit busy right now. Do something about it. One thing we couldn't do, or one thing we can do maybe. Run, Regina! Get up! Ugh. Man, I like this corner a bit. Oh! Uh. Big stuff. Oh! Dang it, dude! Alright. That's that's game over, man. Big yikes. Now we we don't need to we don't technically need to use continues if we can just load. Oh wow. I don't remember this part I remember never dying on this part. Not to say that I'm like super awesome at anything, but dang, I don't remember ever dying that much there. Um I got the key right. Must have alright. So from what I remember when I played this, I don't remember actually having to fire that much at him. I mean, maybe like once or twice. I have a big head, little arms. I don't think that was well thought out. 
I know, I was in the corner and he got me. I don't know how that's physically possible. I I might just uh shoot shotgun until it doesn't uh he doesn't come back. That's the wrong one. Um so th this brings up a, an interesting topic on the difficulty of this game and and how it is a survival horror and how that all works out. Because of the fact that you can save at any save room without a cost. So there's no ink ribbons, there's no cassette tapes or any of that sort of thing. Um, there's no there's no limit. So you are not punished for ever saving. The other thing then becomes um, you have resuscitation medicine. So if you die, you can resuscitate, which isn't the worst thing because it, it creates a limited, um, a limited one time, we'll go back a door Gina, just in case. What um, lock on the second floor but after that, even if you I'm a bit busy right now. die and have no resuscitates, you have five continues with which to say, try again, which feels like a lot. Um, which, if you can save unlimitedly, I feel like you don't need the continues. Run, Regina. Alright. <laughs> Shoot, man. Was that for now? This was never this hard before. All right, I think what it is is I'm not supposed to be standing still either. Only shoot when he lunges? Yeah, that's probably right. That's probably correct too. Cause I think, um, why was it so much easier when I was a kid? <laughs> I was smarter when I was younger, I think. I've never watched this cutscene so many times. It's one of my favorites, to be honest. The, the encounters with the T-Rex are always a party. Get up. Run. Now. Oh, he's gonna bite me right now. I might just take one, see if it helps. Ah, uh, yeah, see, moving moving around doesn't help. It's only shooting when he lunges. Ah, uh, big yikes, dude. We'll use the continue just to speed things along. Jeez. All right. Honestly, I'm kind of glad this game wasn't just easy immediately. Um, I'm glad that I'm actually struggling with a part of it because I remember too much of it, uh, sadly. Because I love this game so much, but I did play it a lot as a kid, so there's a lot of things still locked up in there about it. But that is mostly only shown true with puzzles. Right now. Do something about it. Not with shooting puzzles. Music's so good. Oof. Get up, Regina. Ow. not hard that's not hard it's not that hard you guys I'm just bad that's okay <laughs> Regina, do you copy? Finally, I'll give you the abridged version that idea complete scrub the initial plans and pick us up at the heliport immediately the heliport. this entire island's a bloodbath the only survivor not on the team is the doctor. I'll give you the details later. Just get back here and pick us up ASAP. Roger, I'm on my way. ASAP. Regina, what's the situation? The chopper's on its way here. Great. Don't waste any time. And remember, use the main entrance to get to the heliport. <laughs> Time to get to the heliport. Da, 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 da. 
There's a down arrow on the elevator. Will you push it? Maybe. save here um which yeah. it, it kind of breaks my heart i, I want to keep going but this is a good spot to to leave at because this is the uh a big climax um oh it hurts me to cut it off it hurts me to cut it off oh no but we're gonna we gotta do it all right hold on <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just quitting out of everything and then it just starts freaking out on me. All right, all right. I am checking with my other friends. We're gonna keep this stream rolling. I hope. See if my if uh, these new friends I made if they still want to stream with me. All right, they do. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. And. Uh, I thank you everyone who wanted to come and watch uh, Dino Crisis. I'd love it if you'd stick around and watch me play some due process with uh, some new-ish friends of mine. I don't know if I call them friends, but just some... When you find friends in the due process, because it's a new game, you, you try to you try to stick with them. You try to make friends and try to play with people because uh, there's not a ton, a ton of people in the player base. So you just try to keep the game alive and running well. Just with as many people as you can get playing. Um, but yeah, so again, thank you everyone who's watched tonight. But uh, we're going to keep going in just a couple minutes. Um, I will be right back. And uh, we will be playing some due process. Uh, I love you all. You're all so good. If I don't see you, have a good night. Uh, and we'll be moving right along. So enjoy some music, and we'll be uh, right back in a couple minutes. Yeah! <laughs> 